This is something that is dear to my heart. I have experienced the insanity of the credit reporting agencies in the 80s. Even though we had the Fair Credit Act, it still left the consumer vulnerable to the three major credit reporting agencies. If you had a complaint or an issue or desired a correction, it was almost impossible to get it off. So the laws has changed. The greatest reform on the Fair Credit Act happened in 2015, and those reforms have come into effect in 2017. This video is to present the information that is readily available, and a lot of people may not know about it. So I'm encouraging you under the new laws, if you have stuff on your credit report that you've tried to get off for forever, now is the time to really get into your credit report. You will find that they are amazingly are more receptive. Why has this taken place? It's all because of the AG in New York, Mr. Snyderman. You know, he is the reason I'm doing this video. I believe that we should all pay it forward. For what he has done for this country, he and other AGs that work with him and his staff, we truly owe a debt of gratitude. I created this channel and my whole goal is to try to pay it forward, to try to put that information out there, to do what he and his staff, I'm sure at great, I'm not going to say risk of life, but I'm sure they encountered many obstacles to get this done. To stand up for the consumers in this country, Mr. Snyderman, his staff, and other AGs who fought this battle for us is truly due our greatest respect and that we too should do what they have done and be willing to move forward. The new reforms give us improving the dispute resolution process, the issue of medical debt, increasing the visibility of annualcreditreport.com, additional free annual credit report, payday loan debt issues. Uh, this is something in New York because they have great laws. Mr. Snyderman has provided and their staff have great laws to protect consumers against payday loans. The furnishers monitoring, these are the people who report your information to the credit reporting agencies. And in New York, Mr. Snyderman made sure there was a massive media campaign to make these new uh, changes known to the residents of New York and tips for consumers that will be at the end and I have included this video that you can go on the YouTube or the internet and you can find this video it is profound it's done by 60 minutes and it says 40 million mistakes in that video you will find out how the credit reporting agencies actually work they were at one point in the video you find that the credit report agencies were willing to be sued other than change their policies. The agreement increases protection for consumers with medical debt, reforms the process for correcting report errors, improves accuracy of the report. Okay, this agreement also means companies, the credit reporting companies, will have to improve the credit report accuracy and also it increases the fairness and efficiency of procedures for resolving consumer disputes of credit report errors in the past that was nothing they would just take the word of the furnisher who provided the information whether you had information proven that the person providing the information or the furnisher was wrong they would still leave that on your credit report uh, and protect consumers from unfair harm to their credit history due to medical debt. This is really one that is profound. Okay, this is the new process you find with disputes resolution. Prior to this, as you will find in the 60 Minutes video, nothing was ever done. You were sending all this paperwork and actually the people you were communicating with did not have the authority to correct your your file. Basically, they would just take the word of the people who had submitted your information, right or wrong. So this new change makes the credit report agencies to have to develop resolution systems. Now they have to hire people. Now they have to make sure that these things are taken care of. Now they have to fix these mixed files, fraud identity, and all this other stuff that you would be on your credit report that you couldn't get off 
or you would have to literally take them to federal court to get it corrected. That now, thanks to Mr. Snyderman and his staff and other AGs, we no longer have to go through that. Medical debt. This is another great change. You will find, if you look here on this slide, it says, pursuant to the Attorney General's agreement, uh, the CRAs, credit reporting agencies, will institute a 180-day waiting period before medical debt will be reported on the consumer's credit report. The waiting period will provide extra time to permit resolution of delinquencies that result from insurance delays or disputes. Ah, uh, this is such a great resolution for people who have illnesses or who have children who have had illnesses or whatever medical debt you've had to incur they would put these crazy bills on your account before you had even got the darn thing taken care of with the insurance companies and, and this one is very important increasing the visibility of annualcreditreport.com what the CRAs, the credit report agencies would do, they'd be trying to sell you all this stuff. You are entitled to a free credit report, but that's not what you see on their website. They're always trying to sell you something. And, and like here at the bottom, it says the agreement requires the CRAs to include a prominently labeled hyperlink to the annual creditreport.com website on their homepage. This is something they were not doing because they were so busy trying to sell you stuff. Annual free credit report, additional one. Now you can get an extra one. It said consumers have a statutory right to obtain one free credit report from each credit agency. The Attorney General Agreement requires them to provide a second free credit report to consumers who experience a change in their credit report as a result of initiating a dispute. So this requirement will permit consumers to verify that the CARAs or the credit report agencies made the corrections. Because, you know, you're thinking it's all good until you get ready to go and try to buy a car. And then you find out you got all this crazy stuff on your report that you don't even know anything about. One lady in that 60 Minutes report video that I'm recommending, they, this dear lady had stuff on her report from someone in Utah. And she sent proof that she was not the person and from an attorney and everything. This lady ended up suing the credit report and age Equifax in federal court to get that straightened out. Payday loan debt. Ah, how I wish this was also part of the national resolution, but unfortunately it's not. And to the wonderful people of New York, uh, I just take my hat off to your attorney general who really looks out after your consumers. I know you guys are just giving Mr. Snyderman all kind of support. Um, they in New York have <laughs> the greatest opportunity they do not have to be victimized by these payday loan people who put all this stuff on your credit report and look at the last part is it this here at the bottom on this slide it says the attorney general's agreement prohibits this credit report agency cras from including debt from lenders who have been identified by the attorney general as operating in the violation of new york's lending laws on new york consumer credit reports ah that needs to be nationwide as well Oh, that is such a great, wonderful thing for New Yorkers. I know they are so happy. Okay, furnishers. Okay, in the past, these are the guys, as you can see from the top of the slide, these are the guys who provide your information, like your car loan payments and other things, to these CRAs. The CRAs use these people. They do not have people who actually collect this information. They use these data furnishers to provide them with updated information about your credit history. Well, in the past, these people were... Oh, my gosh, they were horrible. They would not investigate. They would just say, yeah, that's right. And these people were just ruining people's credit. With the new resolution, the Attorney General's agreement requires, if you look here, middle ways up, for a little ways from the top, Attorney General's agreement requires that three CRAs, the three CRAs, Credit Reporting Agency, to create a national credit reporting working group, okay, that would develop a set of best practices and policies to enhance the CRA furniture monitoring and data accuracy. The working group will develop matrix for analyzing furniture data, including the number of dispute related to a particular furniture or category. So now these people cannot get away 
with just putting crazy stuff on your report, they are now being monitored to make sure their information is accurate. Because, see, these furnishers get paid by the CRAs for this information. So the more information they provide the, the credit for an agency, the fatter their check. So they don't bother always to check to make sure this stuff is accurate. Ah, media campaign. Oh, New York. Oh. Gosh, you really got, got wonderful things from your Attorney General. To ensure that consumers understand their rights, the Attorney General agreement requires the credit reporting agencies or the CRAs to carry out an extensive consumer education campaign in New York via public service announcement, paid placements on television, radio, print media, online. It goes on and on and on. So what we're doing today and what I'm really doing is paying forward what Mr. Snyderman and other AGs and his staff did for all of us. We all in this country reap the benefits of what Mr. Snyderman did. The staff that worked with him, the fight they had against something so insidious that it was crippling people in this country, causing all kind of emotional issues and family issues. So, you know, this is just my flag you know of, of just thank you for what you've done because I myself was as I said in the beginning victimized in the 80s by these companies I got this crazy credit report with 12 pages and I was just decimated my name was wrong I had all of this crazy stuff on my credit report and when I called these folks these people talked to me like I was crazy I hung up and sat on the side of my bed and cried like a baby. So they are hurting so many people. So to Mr. Snyderman and his staff, the AG and all those, I just want to say thank you once again. And I know the people of New York are constantly singing your praises, constantly on your side in any battle. Yeah, all three credit reporting agencies cooperated. I know they did. Mr. Snyderman, thank you. Here are some consumer tips that were on the bottom of the press release. Um, a couple of them may solely apply to New York, but I think it's pretty relevant for all of us to get your free credit report. They give you the number, and you can request uh, that from the three agencies. And it is important to review your credit report regularly in order to check for errors. I cannot emphasize that enough because it's time-consuming to get the errors removed. So you definitely want to get your annual credit report. And I'm just going to emphasize one fact. Make sure you run your children's credit report. I do a video... I haven't put it up yet on my channel, but your children's identity is the thing that they are sought after. Yes, I did put that up there. But anyway, make sure you run your children's social security number. Put a freeze on their credit report. You don't need to have your children's credit social security number access to these crazy people out here who will steal your child's number. Make sure you run your child's social security number. And here are some more tips, you know. So anyway, and I like the last one. It says, watch out for websites that claim to offer free credit reports, but require you to subscribe to their free based services in order to obtain the credit report. Don't fall for it. Just go to the, you know, right site, get the information you need without being tricked into buying something. Ah, New York residents who need help understanding their credit report or improving their credit score, oh, this is so great, should call 311 to find their nearest financial empowerment center for free financial counseling. Yay, Mr. Snyderman. Thank you so much again uh, and all of your staff for what you have done for this country. I mean, this is the greatest thing since the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and it all comes into play this year. So I encourage everyone who has listened to this little short video to make sure you contact and the credit reporting agencies get a copy of your credit report. And with this breach we have just had, be about your business. All right, thanks everyone for watching this video and spending time with me today. I really appreciate that. And once again, I just want to say thank you to New York because it's your attorney general and their staff and the other attorney generals in other states who work together to bring about this. But it was Mr. Schneiderman and his staff who made this possible. Thank you again, sir. Everyone have a great day.